In this video I want to introduce you to RStudio. This is our user interface and I think it's quite useful because it makes coding much much easier and especially if you are new to R and if you want to get into it quite fast and quite efficient I always recommend to use RStudio. As you can see it consists of four fields or four windows and I now want to walk you through each of those fields. The first one is um, the script section, so this is this one over here. Um, as the name says, you can do all your scripting and all your lines in this section. You could also do it directly in the console, but I do not advocate this because corrections or experiments with your code are much, much harder if you do it in the console. So just stick to the script section. Alright, so you see uh, you see the different scripts you have open um, on those buttons over here. You can also add a new one by just pressing plus and R script and then you would have another script and you could you could also close it again. Uh, saving scripts would be done with this button, save current. And um, the most important function or the most important button in the script section is the run button. Yeah. So with this with this button you would actually start the calculation. Um, the script section would send the code to the console and the console is the place where the where the calculation itself takes place. If you would have a plot for example and if you would run it, um, the script would send it to the console and the console would then send the plot itself uh, to the plot section below here. And this would then open automatically and you would see the plot below here. Alright, so there was there was the script section with this very important run button. You could also press um, this one, it's it's the rerun function. The console is the place where the calculation it itself takes place. You could also type in type in code in here, um, but but I do not really advocate that. It's not that easy uh, to correct and uh, to do further work with it. So yeah, stick to the script section, that's good. Um, over here in the environment you can see all the values and all the objects you have um, stored at that moment in your clipboard. In this case I just have the object X and it also shows me uh, the mode, um, the length and what kind of values I have in this in this object. Um, I can also delete it by pressing clear. I could for example import data set or text files or whatever and I could store my data. Um, in the history section you see the codes which you were doing um, in the in the last uh, days. So this is basically quite a lot of code which is stored in this section. And um, another really important field is this field at the um, right bottom section. You have different, uh, you have uh, three uh, different functions or buttons and I want to explain to you the most important ones. So this is, this is the plot part, right? You could for example export your plot um, to the clipboard, so that would install it, and then you can you can insert it to let's say Word or wherever you want to have it. Um, you can get it as a PDF, and you can also get an image. Um, and if you clear it, then um, it would be deleted again. Then you see the packages section. In those um, in those fields here, you see all the packages you have stored. Um, in your R program. Uh, please note that they need to be ticked to be active because for example um, this quantile regression package is now not active. I could not use it. I would have to tick it and I can also untick it so then it's passive again. And the help function. Over here I would just I would just type in any um, any kind of information I would I would like to have for example for the apply function and then I would then I would then see uh, what the computer has to offer about this kind of function. Alright so I hope that this kind of introduction was useful for you and that you that you feel now 
confident to use our studio. This was Martin from rmanustutorials.com. Uh, concerning this video, you can of course leave a comment below. Um, if you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up because that's some very important measure for us and that tells us that we are on the right track and that we are actually helping uh, people uh, to get better with R. Uh, furthermore, there are plenty of other videos about R on this channel and you are invited to also take a look on those uh, to get even deeper into R. And of course you can also take a look at the website r-tutorials.com where you can find more useful information about this program.